the world. We've got a war room <laughs> ready, ladies and gentlemen. No more philosophy here. Let's see what these teams are working on. Fogged, save us, please. Dog Sears banned. No! Big time bummer. But look at these respect bans out of VP. Bounty Hunter Ricky. Wow. Right away taken out. That yep. leaves the Ten troll in, right? It sure, sure does. We've got him here, and we've got Clockwork, because we expect those heroes to be grabbed. Five seconds remaining. Clockwork! Oh, oh we got that. Hey! That's one of the VP we'll scoop it on. Wrong side. Or not. The Dark Seer oh, disagrees. Right? It, 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 it could, could still be, still be support. support. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think for VP, it's more likely to be supporting it. Yeah, it's pretty hard They're to say with the first pick like Yeah, we'll put it. It's, it's, we'll Do we get a wisp today? Yes! yes! Does he have yes! the Arcana? I was hoping for the wisp. Does, I don't think he's Mount Sports is the highest level right now. when he's we've been him. in lobbies. Redo I don't think he's got it. I don't think he's going to have it. No, no, I don't no. think Spartan really? has a compendium when we see the lobby loading. Oh, oh my oh, god. Spartan no. doesn't even have a compendium? I don't some of them don't. Oh, oh my. Can you guys right. message them right now? He can pick it with uh, Madaro. So yeah, but if he buys it, if he levels it up now. Does anyone, can anyone, can anyone <laughs> gift Can anyone get a message? <laughs> no, you cannot Radiant gift the Wisp Arcana. Can, we get can anyone give Spartan you can $150, gift please? He can needs levels. He needs levels. levels. <laughs> he needs levels right now. Can we so get we a Kickstarter? Can guys. we get a Kickstarter? <laughs> Go fund that man. <laughs> Go Clock fund work, me. Shadow Fiend, yeah, the Cogs. Classic duo here for VP. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's really scary, guys? You? What? You know that Shadow Fiend collects check. souls? Can I put him out there already? That is and scary. And when he Fair. denies Fair. Cogs, he gets souls. You know, so the Cogs are haunted. Earlier, we asked who would be the scariest hero to meet, and I think we didn't say Shadow Fiend, but he'd be pretty damn scary. Yeah. He's a ghoulish, soul sucking, Shang Tsung wannabe fiend. Isn't he from, like, he looks like that thing from Fern Gully? Anyone? <laughs> he does look like the the. Any, uh, yeah. He looks like Felotion from Fern Gully. That was scary as hell. Fern Gully. Fern Gully. Oh, you know, you know Avatar, his favorite that movie. new movie that came out. That's a direct copy of Fern Gully. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Is it an Avatar? Is this an anime? No. I mean, it's an animated movie from a long time ago. It's a Disney ago. movie. It's a Disney movie. Yeah. Let me give you some it's life a advice. Disney movie. It's life a advice. Fern Gully. I loved that movie when I was a kid. Me too. And I used to tell everybody, and then I went back and watched it as an adult, <laughs> and it's. Horrible. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Go back and watch it, bro. It has a lot of If you can make it more than 15 minutes, then hats off to you, bro. I watched it recently. It's it's pretty bad, but you know. I told Sorry. so many people I love that movie, and I'm so Dude, ashamed. Where the hell is Queen of Dude, between Jigglypuff and Ferngully, you were one messed up kid. Queen of well, what's wrong with Jigglypuff? Yeah. I don't want to tell this story. <laughs> All right, Queen of Pain. <laughs> Mid matchup versus the Shadow Fiend. Shadow yep. Fiend's going to have full souls, though, but Five Queen of Pain is one of the very main. dominant laners. Remember, we're back on 7.06. So yeah. yes. This, this yep. is yes. live. This is live. Prove it on. Cinderin in a pro game. I know it's hard to believe, but it is live. <laughs> now, this is current day, Cind. <laughs> as a pro. Lul. 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 Cind, Cind. Lul. Uh, so, we got the binge picked up. Yep. Yeah. Is that a supporty or is that a, oh, a backup? Could be with, uh, VP played it as a support yesterday. Seconds, Open really? ended. They played it as a support yesterday, so it could be. It Open could ended be. works really well with Shadow Fiend. Five yeah. seconds. My remaining. stun. Great versus Wisp. Wisp low armor hero. The uh, requiem or uh, presence of the Dark Lord plus Reserve terror time. Yeah. really hurts. Poor little IO. A little lockdown for Queen of Pain. It could be a could be um, a draw ranger game for VP. It's definitely. Uh, yeah, it could, Potential. but after watching their last uh, Draw Ranger game, I certainly hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Elements had a good draft That's for Draw Ranger, though. They, they had Spirit Breaker Lycan. So, <laughs> so Earthshaker, yeah, back on great. the rise, huh? Up to the second pick material. I mean, just uh, gazing at some of the Star Ladder games, seems like Earthshaker actually is back. Yeah. Yeah, he's very good. Obviously, if you're blocking the offlane, you can guarantee yourself experience, and just having that, like, that straight up disable. Just very good, especially with like rotations coming in. Like Queen of Pain can just rotate in with like a fissure, and you have heavy burst. I've mm -hmm. seen the Earthshaker paired more so with the Invoker lately, because you can get the solo kill potential with your Echo Slam into a Sunstrike with like all the other disable that you get from the Earthshaker. But right, Queen of Pain does work, and you can set up for relocates kind of well. Is it is it still okay picking it into a clock quite though? Yeah. That is the one painful That's, thing. Uh, you know, it's not a lot of fun really. Is it playing a Shaker against a clock? Not at all. If you're in the right position for sure. Yeah. A plus 350 Fisher range, yeah. Don't need to be anyway on the front lines. That's true. No one gets that talent, though. They, they all, get the, they the all take the echo damage. Uh, yeah. Really? Plus 40 echo damage, yeah, it's a lot. Okay. It's because like, it's per okay. echo, so it, yeah, yeah. it start, yeah, adds up, has yeah. potential to be a fair bit. Yeah. It's like two and a half levels of the ability. Yeah, yeah. So oh, damage. is that much? Okay. It's, yeah. a, it's a lot, yeah. yeah. Okay. Mal's thinking hard about this fourth pick. Only 20 seconds of reserve left. Oh, this could be the double random. They've, they're oh. the only team who has done it before. 
through. Accidentally picking Beast a Beastmaster. <laughs> and then they pick Beastmaster <laughs> every game after. their eyes to a brave new world. Oh, right. Five, Five seconds four, oh, three. The ultimate test. Is be. it a Beastmaster? Uh, it's a Link. Oh, my. This... Well, this, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm being honest, I think this hero is absolute garbage right well, now. Well, what's so bad about <laughs> Dude, he's... It's so hard to have death packed in these fights. Your duration is longer now, but the cooldown's also way longer. It's 85 second cooldown, 60 second duration. So you got 25 second and down. I, yeah. seconds, I've seen this hero a couple times played recently, and I was really not impressed with it. Five seconds so, do so you think it's that bad? I... I mean, I I don't know. I, I, the hero was already kind of weak, but time. there are a lot of neutrals for you to actually like work with. But I've seen it. I don't know. I, I personally am not a big fan of this I mean, guy. Is there I mean, any other merit to Clinks that we're not thinking of here? Is he I'm blaming it a little hard, but good but, against any of these heroes, uh, or is there like some pocket pick Mouse could grab to make this all make sense? Jen, um. <laughs> <laughs> they increased 1,000 HP from Persuasion at level 20 with the. Whoa, that's, that's a pretty oh. dank synergy there, Fog. Wait, I like you, that. You can't eat your own. You can't do that, can you? Of course okay. you can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can. Man. You can I'm, eat friendly. I'm creeps. doing that in my pubs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll be uh, declining that invite. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, hey, 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 oh. They're preparing for the Chen. They're, they're preparing for the Chen. They've got the cars. Well, we talked about Witch Doctor a little bit yesterday, or at least I was. Uh, happy to see that face. A lot of minus armor, so that goes nicely with the Death Ward. Hell yeah. Right? Uh, Grace uh, versus Io. Yep. Oh, yeah, bounces the cast with the uh, tether. Especially now that he has the Ten talent, right? That uh, increases the amount of bounces. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he has fallen out, though, because uh, the main reason people didn't like playing him was uh, his ult, you know? By the time uh, everybody has evasion, he's kind of weak, right. but now he has true sight on the ult. Yeah, so Dying now it, it does not miss shooting uphill and also solar crest. Uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. You can still use it defensively against you it. Use it against so PAs or strong butterfly laner. targets. Yeah. It's more, uh, he's a strong laner. Yep. But yeah, the death ward buff and everything definitely makes mm -hmm. him a little bit more relevant. Maybe I'm, yeah, maybe I'm like hating on the clinks a little Ten bit much, seconds. but yeah, I no, think I've seen so. him. I, just, <laughs> I think he ruined one of your latest pubs. I think Five <laughs> seconds remaining. something like that. <laughs> I, I just don't understand why clinks here. Uh, of all the cores they yeah. could have taken, what I, I'm not seeing the synergy with the clinks. Because he's an invisible gank. They want to leave him alone and play yes, around the other lanes. Yes, they know about the, um, the theme today. Yeah. <laughs> he's spooky. Ah, he's spooky. I mean, yeah, 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 he's, he's, I mean, he's someone that can deal with what laning against the clockwork, if it is an offlane clock. Which it, yeah. like it could certainly still be because, uh, I mean, as we said, we saw it's VP really open open Venge as a support rather than VP have support. a lot of options here. Yeah, they, they can certainly switch it around with Venge clock playing core or, or a support position, yeah. I hope this Clinks owns and shuts me up, honestly. <laughs> That'd be, that'd be good. He's pretty good against the Shadow Fiends. Yeah, when I see a yeah. yeah. kick like this, I think about getting in the back yeah. lines for initiation. Isn't that his big value? The surprise, like... Yeah, which Doctor's going to die in, like, three hits. Right. Mm -hmm. But, um... You know, he's good against Clockwork in lane, but not so much in the game. No. Clinks kind of wants to duck in and out, get in the back, kill these key targets, and Clockwork locks him down. Next Assassin, final ban from Maus. EP thinking about their fifth. Where's the posture hero? I think this is already... I mean, it's still kind of open, I guess. They have, like, options. Yeah, the fifth ban, Magnus. Oh, there we go. So it is going to be a Ramsey's Vengeful Spirit. I think this will be offlane Clockwork, more than likely, and the Sand King support. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think the Sand King's better ran the in the four King. Yeah. 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 I yeah, think you're right. But that means yeah, it is a position one Venge. Right. Yes, it is. Definitely a position one Venge. So core yes. Venge. Yep. Oh, core Venge. Oh, Works well with Shadow Fiend. I think that's, like, one of the few instances you can still run it in. Yeah. What a mouse don't need just that. The second support. Five seconds remaining. Uh, War, uh, or, or an off lane. Warlock is still there. Axe. Uh, but, okay, so it's going to be a support, support shaker. shaker. MNT yeah. shaker. Cinder and Axe. Okay. And Cinder and Axe. Right. Very interesting. Have, we've axe. talked about Axe a fair bit, but we have not seen him. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Broken trumpet. Okay, so uh, thoughts about these drafts here, Braxy. Do you have faith in the Clinks or are you in the Fogged camp? I like Clinks a lot, but I don't think um, the support duo of IO Shaker, it's kind of awkward. Mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, Shaker can get a lot done in the early game, especially with... Um, not a lot of zoning power. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, Clinks has that, though, to kind of compensate, but I still like uh, VP's draft a bit better. Okay. Slacks, uh, where are you at? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go with VP, too. I'm just not feeling the mouse sports. Uh, I don't feel like they have a lot of synergy, and uh, VP's job is so much easier. They just have yeah. to stun, and they have, like, four stunners, so <laughs> it looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to have to go with VP as well. Uh, if this Earthshaker can go nasty, maybe. He's pretty much the only lockdown they've got. Let's see what happens. Game one, VP versus Mouse.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the panel. We're ready for the game, uh, one of the second series of the day. Uh, the first live series, of course, uh, we have Mouse Sports up against VP. Mouse with Cinderin standing in and Woo! Cinderin playing the axe. He is playing the axe. So I just want to flame Slacks a little bit here. Uh, Witch Doctor Ult only has True Strike with Aghanim Scepter. So it is still not really that great. <laughs> He's going to get an axe? All right, Jake. <laughs> Sorry, Jake. Sorry, Slacks. <laughs> but, uh, oh, there we go. The IO. Does he have? Oh, he's got it! No! no yeah, he's got it! It's no, Spartan. Oh. It's Spartan who's level. He doesn't even have a compendium. I thought, yeah. Let's see. Oh, no, oh. it's yeah, it's not there. Can't they do the thing where they Madara could have picked it and then swapped? And they, I guess they could have, yeah. They could have, but they didn't. Because yeah. they didn't think about you guys at home. So send lots of angry tweets, please. Mouse Sports. Where's my companion cube? What is this? Gaben's not happy. We need to be selling this stuff. Getting that TI prize pulled up. Come on, lads. Oh, yeah, and it's solo playing Witch Doctor, so there's no way he's getting an Aghanim Scepter this game. <laughs> solo did, did, did is the sacrificial Did you see that game yesterday? It was rich. Yeah, it was rich. No, it was not. It was, right. it was, it was, it was dying a lot. Remember that game where he just kept dying on the train? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's the way that that's they play the, with that, him. Yeah, they won the game. Like, it's the way to win. But yeah, you're right. He's not going to have the, the goal yeah. for the, the Ags. But imagine if he does now. Imagine. Imagine. And here we have it. Cinderin. They do already have like the minus armor as well to kind of amplify the death ward, like we were mentioning. You know, they have the venge terror plus the presence of the dark lord, so that can actually make it a bit better versus, especially like Wisp. Wisp getting hit by that is actually a lot of damage with the zero armor. So it's it's definitely still kind of thing. I just you know I wanted to just mm -hmm. flame slacks a little bit. So the lanes that we're going to have by the looks of it, so it, as expected, it, it is, it is yeah, as you mentioned, Lil playing the SK and will be Pasha playing Cock, and. Um, well, there's the uh, the cog feature. Yep. 14 souls. And no one with his beloved taunts that he does. He do. loves his taunts. Absolutely does. So let's see. Sind Axe. So what are we there? When was the uh, last time we saw Sin play in the offline? It's his debut on Axe as well. Look at that. Um... Never. He's never apparently. played Axe. He plays it in pubs. I know he's been spamming offlane in pubs. He's been playing a lot of darks here. Uh, a couple games of clockwork and stuff. I've been seeing him uh, go for those. And I think I saw him earlier playing. I think maybe he was playing the Axe <laughs> earlier today. Hey, that's true as well, isn't it? It's, it's Cinderin going back to Mouse Sports <gasps> since 2013, oh the first God, game. Right. That's so hype. In over, what, three and a half years, pretty much. Oh, look at this. What we got? He goes for the healing level one. Voodoo Restoration, just his <laughs> own thug. <laughs> and he's, he's doing it as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, you... Yeah? He can do that pretty well until there's a fake, a shaker here, though. That His is Fissure's going to come in, and Solo might be able to get brought down here from this. Is he dead? That would be Deny? Pretty. Oh, my, he went, he, oh, my God, no one. He tried to chance. Yeah, oh, my God. That, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is If he didn't have full on? souls, yeah. it's definitely really worth denying your teammate. You get, of course, yeah. full from that. But, yeah, Solo, was he was okay. That could have been a little bit of a mistake, but thankfully he uphill missed. How, how did he get the up? I mean, it looked like they were on the same part of the stairs, I guess. I guess not. It must have just been across whatever <laughs> invisible line there is that detects that. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> There's some clowning stuff already going on in this middle lane. Um, side lanes, though. Oh, well, we got Spartan down it. With Madara. And up top, Cinder. Oh, no. Oh, Cind. Not like this. First blood. Oh, the so minus armor from Wave of Terror early on. Yeah. Stun into another stun, Wave of Terror into another stun. You gotta be careful. But he's got a wave coming into him. He's got a double wave, so he's, at least he's gonna get a good chunk of experience oh, yeah. here. And I mean, maybe next time he's gonna be coming up here and playing around him because that's what we see Maus do a lot. You know, they like to secure their mid and their their off lane more than anything. We'll see how Sin does in this has to be a, a little more careful, but once he gets the levels he should be in a, a bit of a better shape. Yeah, he's just he was trying to play aggressive, you know. He's, yeah. He knows that the Witch Doctor's mid, so he's like, I need to force the issue up here to make sure I get stuff. But they did really heavy emph heavily emphasize, actually, on the side of Mouse to block both camps. Block the pull. Oops, just did a ping. They did try to block the pull and try to block the big camp, and now Lil actually gets both D wards. So he's going to have those at least to get himself his own levels in that safe lane as okay. a sinking. Mid lane, though, Eva, despite the... Uh the, the sort of the clowning going on is it is still very much no one yeah. having a very easy time here against Thug thanks to the back of a solo. It's very yeah. hard for Thug to get in and get anything out of this lane. Yeah, no one with getting also heavy denies and yeah. having that Witch Doctor. He's still actually very good on his experience too. Top lane again. Sin playing a bit over aggressive here. Oh, Might he's actually dead get again. brought down from this with the caustic 
Applied. Yeah, he's dead oh, for sure. Oh, send. Bye-bye. That's got to be a feels. But it can never feel good when you stand in for a team and then you die two times in the first two minutes. He's got to settle down. He's taking Skylark's role, though, right? Skylark dies a few times in the leaning phase, true. too. True. Yeah, true. He's trying to fit the role. Mm -hmm. Oh, mid lane. It's still this constant pressure being put down onto Thug. Maybe next time was actually trying to stack yeah. for uh, Cinder in a bit, but he actually messed it up and he didn't get it. It was a small Seder camp, medium camp. So that is, I think that's the one big thing that they should definitely be doing, though. Stack up the camp so if Cinder does have a bit of a rough time, he can always just recover in the jungle. Yes, they need to have somewhere for him to go back to as he's not having the greatest time. Top lane, mid lane. We can try and make a good oh, go. Oh, solo might die here. He have wants they, to go for the deny. Have they got it? He's got hey! it. <laughs> I mean, he was dead there. If Thug blinks in and gets the scream oh, off, yeah, then he's yeah, dead absolutely. for sure. So I think that deny is actually good. Def you definitely get it. And uh, yeah, it's, at the end of the day, it's a three-man movement that... I mean, the Witch Doctor doesn't mind that he's dead. You know what I mean? And the Shadow Fiend doesn't mind that the Witch Doctor's dead. He's like, finally, I can get some solo XP out of this lane. Yep. And uh, yeah, the, the three-man play from Mass Sports doesn't get really anything good done for themselves. As Thug is still going to continue to have a hard time in that lane with no one alive. Ooh. Yeah, that is for certain. So Solo now getting on a warding expedition. He wants to watch the uh, Wisp's movements, yep. especially. So he puts a river ward down. Also watching the runes is very important versus a Wisp. You always want to be able to claim those. Radiant does put a scan out. They actually catch somebody down there. At least to, while they're checking the runes, but yeah, having those having rune vision is very important versus a IO lineup. So whenever he does go for those with his bottle, you I spot the most rotation. Cinder has got his level four now. Oh, oh, Lil's hot on his trace though. Sin could be in trouble. As long uh, as they don't use both. This, oh, they okay, actually, wave, okay, the waves Sin. missed though, but he has phase boots already on Venge. Oh, that's a lot of damage. MNT will be there to maybe try and block them off, and uh, that, that Fisher will indeed be enough to save Sin this time around. Good rotation from MNT, just to make sure that Sin doesn't get dropped again. Well, you see what Solo's doing? Too? Solo's jungling as Witch Doctor with Cask, so he's trying Easy. to be efficient. Yeah, he's get those levels. The, yeah. The five second Cask's on on creeps is. I love it. It's pretty good for that, and you have high base damage as well, so it's decent. Shrine is now up, so he's going to join his buddy Pasha down there. Yeah, easy, easy creep camps. And Pasha's doing great. I mean, he's level four. Yep. He's not getting a. I mean, he's actually has good CS. He has 18 CS. He's got Tranquil Boots already finished up. He can actually, if they have a dust, they can pressure Madara, but they don't have one just yet. Yeah, he's doing as well. Oh, they do have a dust. A okay, yeah, Solo has one, so yeah, they okay. might actually be able to go for a play here on Tim. Oh, that that would be good for the dude because Madara is having a pretty good time down there. Yeah. yeah he's he's getting free farm. Yeah, Solo's coming in with the rotation. Madara seems to know something's up, though. He's going to go over and scout the side. Oh, did he see that? Solo's going for a courier kill. Oh. He's ambitious. <laughs> yeah, Madara, well aware that the witch towards their top lane. The go is being made here onto Cinder, but Cinder's got the back of a Spartan. They look towards Lil. Been battle hungered up. Lil is dead. Will fall. So Spartan and MNT coming in, making sure that Sin can get away with these aggressive plays. Good rotation. They're getting a kill out of it, yeah. yeah. They know that, yeah. They know that they're playing super aggressive in that top lane. So, I mean, this is just a Mao special. They they don't really like to play around Madara in the laning phase. No. They play around their mid and their off laner more than anything. And Madara, he, you know, he knows exactly what's up. He's seen the dust. He knows that they're looking for him, yeah. keeping that. himself well out of harm's way in the tree line. Being very careful about how he reveals himself. Thug mid has an arcane rune. Spartan even pings out no one already. So they do want to try to make an aggressive move onto the shadow fiend, but. No one seems to know something's up, and he's going to back up and just jungle for a bit. Oh, yeah, we're six and a half minutes in. Two to one at the moment for VP, and they do have the slight gold lead as well. And they're already down to some of these level sixes before we start to see some big movements come out. Cinderin, Tranquils, and uh, queuing into the blink. Mm -hmm. I mean, do you, do, will he stick with this? I mean, I feel like we see a lot of axes that do just go for the Vanguard first before the Blink Dagger, but is it is it just that crucial that he gets a good timing on the Blink this game? Yeah, he needs the Blink. He needs it first? Yeah, yeah. they need it for sure. Okay. They, they don't have a clear-cut initiator. It gives him a lot more potential for the relocates as well early on. And he's yeah. going to farm stacks, so he will get the Blink at an okay timing as long as he doesn't die a crazy amount. Pasha now looking for a rotation. He's got Hookshot online. Okay. Trying to catch someone farming the jungle, perhaps the Axe. Oh, we'll send her in. And I love the wards that VP had, and I touched on a little bit before, but they even put one down deeper into the bottom lane, so they're able to watch whenever the Clinks goes to jungle, and if the Clinks does go for rotations after eating a creep. Because Madara, you know, he does have that death pack. So with the clock on fire, looking towards the Shaker up top, obviously that would be 
the easy kill if he gets him inside the cogs with a battery assault. Yeah, this is a, this is a very nice rotation too, because then they can maybe even pressure the tower off of it a bit. Yes. Maybe next time, looks like he's going to be dropped down here. But the rotation coming in from Sind as well. Pasha wants to save the hookshot for another hero. Yeah, and uh, he'll be able to, because MNT's just taken down with the cogs of the battery assault. They yeah, have further lockdown. Sin gets the call under the tower, but mm -hmm. in with the burrow strike, Solo's there with the rotation as well, oh, and Sin will be taken sick. down. No one does die though in the mid lane. Spartan okay. rotation with Thug's arcane rune as well. And now Thug porting up top. Wiz is with an arcane rune TP too, so. Efficiency. Oh, Lil comes actually in a bit early there with the burrow strike, and he's gonna get punished for that. Takes a dagger and a Fisher to the side of him, and with the punches, he's gonna tick out. Almost certainly the courier comes in, nearly dies to Madara as well, who's there with the rotation. Ramses swaps himself over the Fisher back to safety. Indeed, Lil does end up going down solo as well. Taken down by the arrows of Madara. MNT is actually there to turn down Ramses. Has Fisher again, blocks him off. Ramses pops the stick charges. TP actually across the tree line there. Oh no, sorry, that wasn't it. <laughs> he was going back to base. I was going to say that would be pretty cute if he did that. But he does go back to base. It's going to be a tag team as Lil comes back in. And bottom lane, Pasha hunting down tether. Spartan. Yeah, and Spartan should be fine. And, and indeed will get away. So 4-4, four, four, Mouse are making the reactions there to the plays. Yeah. And getting Madara in a great position. You know, gets himself involved in some action. And now puts some pressure onto the tier one of the safe lane of, of Versus Pro. Oh yeah, so, oh, so yeah, that's right. Mouse has played actually Clink's pretty recently, even before it. I think that was before it was buffed as well. Yeah, nine days ago. Okay. Yeah, so BKB Scythe of Vines. Right. Yeah, Scythe is very good for getting those like solo ganks. And yeah, he's going for Treads Death, so. Oh, no one is top of the net worth though, and definitely something they have to be aware of. And no one's SF can get incredibly scary and incredibly big. How's Sin doing on the uh, Blink Dagger? He must be about, what, halfway there at the moment? He's still far. Oh, okay, yeah, he died. Those three deaths are definitely hurting him a bit. <laughs> and he can't really like reside in that top lane anymore with the no. levels that they have because they're just putting so much pressure trying to get the tower. Okay, yeah. yeah, making the rotations good. But Clockwork is also quite good versus Axe. You know, if you are able to segregate him away from creeps, you easily can bring him down Spartan. Now relocate coming toward top. Yep, they got Madara there as well already in position. They'll oh, attack down Ramses. TP's coming through, but there's no chance for an escape. Sin's there with the dunk. Very nice, nice execution. relocate. Pasha now positioned in the top lane. They know that the relocate will be bring at least Spartan back down there, but he does leave Cinder in, so Madara it should be safe to kind of pressure up here. But the rotation's now coming in from the rest of VP. They're smoked up, Lil as well as Solo. Who can they find? They I mean, MNT would be a, yeah, a relatively easy pickoff to start with. If they can get the initial stun. They want Madara though. Yeah, they've already got the detection down here. They trap him in the cogs. They'll be efficient to hold back a couple of them, but the TP's in from Ramses. They've got a lot of heroes up at VP4. There's the swap, nicely done from Ramses. Closes the gap with the swap, gets the magic missile onto the clinks, and Madara's down. Look at, I was wondering who had the medallion. Pasha's got one. Oh, he's already got one. On Clockwork, yeah. I think Ramses has already got one, as, or nearly got one as well. I, okay, yeah, he's, he's close to having, having the money to, but yeah, also picking up one. Very good item versus Clinks. Yeah, and especially with your lineup that you've got, you know, Venge, SF, you're good to go with a couple of medallion solo crests. Yeah. I mean, it is, you know, it's Queen of Pain with Clinks. Yep. They're squishy. So if, yeah, they're pretty squishy. And they, you know, the Clinks is their only really physical damage on the entire team. So if they just build yeah. a bunch of armor items and solo crests, then the Clinks' damage is going to be heavily reduced. Yeah, it really is. There are definitely ways that VP can itemize. Very nicely up against Mouse Sports this game. They've got another smoke finished uh, ready, so they, after they finish this camp, we're probably going to see it. Yep. Trying okay. to keep the aggression Dying going here. Do they have dusts on anyone? Attack. They do not right now, actually. Thug would be the nice catch, though. Thug has had you know, a pretty good opening. A swap into a stun could spell disaster. But yeah. He's already backing away from the lane. Yeah, they do have at least a sentry on Lil, so yeah. they at least have that if the Clinks is able to break the smoke. And but here Thug we go. finding an invis. If he actually utilizes it now, it could be pretty big. He's heading up to the high ground solo, has the smoke dispelled. He knows that there's trouble here. Thug jumps forward, close range here to no one, and Ramses and Ramses will be able to get the swap back. They don't have a sentry down though in time. Only Thug's going to be it. fine with the invis rune. Sinneran trying to move in potential position to get a call. Pash is going to, with the hook shot, he does get the call. Sinneran onto no one. The creep's helping him spin, spin, spin as well. They'll lose the Earthshaker, but it's VP down and SF. A very miniature relocate there over to the sides there. Maybe try to get Sinneran in a better position, but it doesn't end up working 
looking out because Lil has the epicenter, blows up the Spartan, moves in onto the axe, and they've taken down another. VP there. Coming across and just a, a bit of a disjointed fight from Mass Sports. Unable to get Madara involved as he was meanwhile putting pressure on that top lane. Not having reveal there was a big problem for them. They had this one sentry that was placed by Lil, but they did end up being able to outrange that one. And the Clinks, instead of porting in, they made the decision. Clinks just split push instead of uh, joining that fight. And yes, Mouse comes out quite ahead in that one after taking down the very over farm Shadow Fiend. Yeah, getting no one, putting him off the map at any stage is always going to be good news. And they may even find something else out of this, Lil. Trying to escape his pro strike into the tree line. Mouse, they're hunting for him. And uh, they should see him now. He's not going to get away with the TP if he tries to. But quick fingers from MNT. Slams down the echo. And make sure that there's no escape for the Sand King. So, yeah, 13 minutes in, all things considered, it's, it's lane, pretty Pasha. good for Mouse. Yeah, they've caught Pasha out as well. All right. They're happy Clint with his own game. Yeah. Madara getting the job done. 2-1-2. Two, two. And after working his way up on the top lane, straight now into the middle lane. Yeah, they're going to be able to find themselves another tier one with this pushing power of the clinks. Nice clean rotations coming out for Mouse. Good responses mm -hmm. every single time. How is the blink dagger coming out? 700 away for Sindarin. And Thug is banked up on a lot of gold. I'm trying to wonder what he's going to get. Is he going to just rush the Aghanim Scepter that we've seen a couple times? Oh, yeah, he went for, what did he go for? I think it was, what, Yule, Yule's into Aghanims. Oh, he's just going for the, maybe, straight Lincolns. Okay. Yeah, and a lot of point target stuns on uh, VP. That could cause issues for him to kick things off. And uh, middle lane, Spartan, they know he's there. Can they hunt him out? They're trying to get the vision with the Wave of Terror. Done got a ward as well, him. but... Yeah, he should be no, fine to tether out of there if they close it, and they, they can't get quite close enough indeed. Actually, on the sidelines, quite a deep committal here from the uh, the clockwork. Oh, and he, nice the, the relocate saves there. They'll be able to take Sindarin out. He'll be fine. VP will find the space to push down onto the tier one in the middle lane. The but Madara, comes out. Madara claims bottom tower during all that. Yeah, he's taking the trade, and he's taking it on his own, whereas VP are having to commit the full five-man to get the tier one in the middle lane. And uh, no one will die on Mouse. They, they keep everyone alive. And as you said, Madara's getting space down bottom. Doug, he's getting space up top. I think they're finally losing that tier one for that. Yeah, I think they're, they are. Just like not being able to lose, not having to lose anybody with the nice free locate coming out. And yeah. during all this, you know, this, since VP is grouped up, look at Lil's net worth. You know, this is not what we're used to seeing out of Lil. Being only 2,500 on the board, he's actually below both the supports on the side of Mouse right now. So Mouse is definitely coming out very well into these com in the first 15 minutes of the game. Thug getting spotted. Do they have the chain stun here in time? Oh, Ramses tries to close the gap with the swap into a stun. But he's unsuccessful. That's a hard kill to get. It is. They have to pretty much do it perfectly, but the epicenter actually also gets cancelled from the swap since he does it. But still, yeah, it was a very hard kill to kind of go for. Yeah, Mao's making all the right moves, though. And they really are. Some nice calls. And yeah, some nice plays with the clinks, and it's, yeah, with these skirmishes and time, Cinderin now has got that blink dagger. Yeah, Pasha might actually get gone on down here. He's showing as a clockwork. Dara keeping the vision, I Oh, he's, he's dead. If they get able to get the call he's on him, oh. but they're not actually able to. He sees the wisp and the quap walking up, so he's actually moves in time. Well, they could try to take a tower out of this, though. Got a lot of pushing power for the clinks. VP may try and fight this. They're smoked up behind the tier two. But already Mouse backing up slightly. Knowing that this fight could come in and Spartan's gonna be the first to be jumped upon. Straight away, no, no holding back for VP as they go in onto him. He does get the tether across here with the bolt charges. Does keep alive for a little bit. The flare comes out. Big Four sonic wave. wave there onto four. The scream as well onto three as Mouse jump in. Thug just turns around. He's got this arcane when he's ready to go. The second screen comes through and he's taken down two. Make that three, triple kill for Thug. A brilliant fight, and it may not be over yet. The two of them eyeing down no one. They've got the slow. Doesn't look like they have the damage. I mean, they could oh no, they could dive this. No one's going to try and turn with the raise plays. Thug has to be careful. And indeed, they won't quite be able to dive the SF. But yeah, that arcane rune coming into big play there for Thug in that fight. Multiple screams and yeah. getting a triple. Yeah, that four-man sonic yeah. wave. We're going to see it again here yeah, right really here. Really nice. Good setup there by Cinderin. Four-man wave into a four-man fissure as well. Yeah, and then we have it, the first scream, and then look, look how low they are. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then the second, oh, Those easy are, kills. Is, yeah, perfect scream. Perfect positioning there by Thug. Yeah. And good separation of the fight from not only the Fissure, but also from Cinderin's positioning on the Axe. 
The uh, Clinks and Thug actually are just able to pretty much sit in the back lines and do uh, all the damage. And how's MNT doing on his Blink Dagger on the Shaker? He should be pretty close. Because if he had a Blink in that fight, you saw him kind of coming on the edge, and it was very hard for him to get into an optimal position for the Echo. But if he imagine with a Blink around those sort of fights, that it would have been a team wipe. Because they were so grouped up together. Yeah, only 400 away from it. Thug yeah. even finishes up Lincolns now too. So getting kills on Thug is actually going to be very hard unless he overcommits with the Blinks because, they, like you said, lots of individual target stuns and disables. And Madara's nearly got a Desolator. Only 400 gold to go and he's got that yeah. on top of the Dragon Lance. So extra siege potential and, you know, in situations like that where we saw them try and take down the SF, he's going to be able to do so as well. He'll have more, more than enough damage. With a bit of control. And uh, no one trying his best to tank up, going for the SMY. Ramsey's actually Goes going back. back. for Midas. Yeah, for the Midas. I think that they're feeling a bit, uh, like, quite pressured right now for yeah. Mouse's plays. So they, they're they losing know, fights. They know that, yeah, they're losing fights, and not only are they losing fights, but they're losing it with a clockwork. So clockwork is a hero that doesn't farm. Mm -hmm. He catches up through team fights. And now Lil, I think Lil also notices that too. He's been now pushing up this top lane for the last, like, two minutes or so, trying to get his farm online, because he needs to be able to scale as a Sanking when you have a clockwork in your team. You yeah. can't just only depend on your chorus in order to do anything. Thug getting spotted bottom by the wave of terror. But looks like he still wants to try to go for some type of engagement on Ramses. I see him pinging him out. And with that Lincoln's and haste rune, he is pretty strong. Top lane relocate. Oh, here we go. Looking to hunt out Lil. Straight into the tree line. And uh, he's headed the right way. And Sin and Spartan have headed the wrong way. They'll uh, try and hunt him out. He's already out of there, already down. They will uh, note down the time of the relocate as well, so they know that they're a little safe for a bit of time, pushing out these lanes on their own or such. They're going to smoke, though. Blink Dagger just finished on MNT. Madara level yep. 14 with the freshly finished up Desolator plus Dragon Lance, and he's got the Death Pact used. So let's see if they are going to be waiting to use it, but their lane top isn't really in the greatest position. MNT's like, All right, I'm going to push this out first, and then maybe we can smoke. Yeah, they could certainly have a good jump on them. They really could. Two big initiators. Thug really wants to go on bottom. He just keeps pinging them, and he's been sitting down here for quite a while. I like this, though, as well, though. The Clinks and the Io can make real quick work of the Roshan, and I don't think VP are going to expect this at all, and at least expect the speed to have it, because it is just only after Madara has found the Desolator complete. And, yeah, they're going to get this one for free. A free Roshan for Mouse. And this will keep them ahead, and the next fight that they go for, they've got that failsafe, Mouse. They have that extra life on the Clinks. They're good to go, and again, yeah, Thug's got another arcane rune. They really want to go, Mouse. His mouth, his rune control has been very dominant. Uh, his bottle is never empty. Yeah. yeah. Well, VP are going to push down bottom because see the line big draw. Maybe if they want to try to go for some sort of wrap round from behind, Mouse, but they're quite far away. And uh, okay, yeah, it looks like they feel that they've just got to let this one go. TP away from Thug, heads up towards the top lane. They're not going to look to hold this one. They'll just let VP get away with it. Yeah, how's Lil doing? Is he close to that blink? He's got a lot of small cheap items. He even goes for like the soul ring that we saw before. So he has to make sure to keep buying reveal too. That is the annoying thing about yes. playing versus the clinks. Yes. You know, you have to make sure that you have at least two people with some type of reveal. And solo is quite broke this game, as we usually expect to happen. So Pasha also having to expend some gold onto dust and reveal. But he's got the blade mill finished up now. Medallion into blade mill on the clockwork, and now he's got the Midas queued up so he can at least farm while the team fights aren't happening. Jackpot. Top lane, looks like they're going to be positioned for a tier 2 while also the trade happens from VP. VP doesn't want to pour it one by one into that top of the tower. It's definitely suicide into an Aegis as well. I wonder if we'll see anyone we'll be able to get in time to defend MNT, those. though, he's smoked up behind here. He's got oh, the Echo Slam Blink. Yeah, they can TP down in time potentially if uh, he finds the opening. Here we go. TP's starting to come through. MNT heads four, comes in with the Echo Slam onto two. The Fisher gets three. They've got this S7 in a great position, but Ramsey's with the swap out trying to save no one. It's not enough, though. The damage from Madara flies through, gets the kill. They will lose Spartan. And now Cinderin looking to make sure they can find more out of this. Jumps in, gets the cool and the dunk onto Pasha. Thug there playing around with the Arcane Runes on the bat line. Solo not oh, going to be able to TP out. Beautiful Fisher from MNT. And they find four. Incredible hold there from Mouse on that bottom lane. The tower remains. They get the tower top. And yeah, MNT just perfectly there. So we're waiting before the TP smoked up, making sure they get the catch. And literally, only Ramses gets away. Literally the perfect fissure. Because yeah. not only does he Echo Slam and catch two, but with the, the third fissure, yeah, with the first fissure, he catches the Vengeful Spirit who was trying to swap out no one. So that, that fissure positioning was absolutely perfect and crucial as well. And that was also 
I believe. Was that the Arcane Rune as well, Antog? It was, yeah. So it Arcane Rune, the Arcane Sonic Rune Wave again. Yeah. So. Look the at this. Cooldown is up in 20 seconds. That fish are there. Bam. Straight across. Yeah. And as you say, he does still get the swap, but because it's been prolonged that much, yeah. the damage is already there from Adara. Exactly. And that wasn't even all the heroes from Mouse. Yeah. Damn. That's got to be scary for VP. Yeah. There. And th this, this fish are at the end as well. I mean, Solo in the trees yeah, trying both. to TP. Last millisecond. Bam. Absolute slaughter. Mao's looking good. Their teamwork is looking very strong, especially with the Wisp. This is There's a reason why teams have banned the IO a lot versus this team, because they play very well around it, and they're showing it and executing it. BKB is now done for Madara as well. Relocate coming oh, top, Cinder. Yeah, they've got the call, the call set, up. set up onto Lil, and Lil is gone. Man, they're just, they really... I mean, if they don't let this guy get his blink dagger, that is a lot of the team fight reduced from VP. They don't have, they only have the hook shot for the, their kind of initiation and, the, of course, like Requiem, but he can't get an epicenter off without a blink. And I mean, Miles, that Miles are just playing so damn well. This is looking really good for them. 24 minutes in, and Ramsey's he is falling behind. Cinderin looking like a good fit on this team. Skylark is shaking. <laughs> Watching on. But no, right, don't worry, Skylark. We saw Cinderin's laning. You're fine. You're fine, Sky. <laughs> but uh, no, at this stage, yeah, Sky, uh, Cinderin's certainly helping out. But it definitely feels like MNT is the big playmaker so far in the game. Oh, yeah. His, his shaker play has been absolutely uh, impeccable. Thug as well. Thug has had, I mean, his For rune. Sure, yeah, I mean, his, his rune lux. Yeah, he's I mean, had, what, like, three really fights with three arcane runes that yeah. have been crucial, yeah. But but no, he, he, as you say, especially considering how much he was bullied at the start, you've got yeah, to remember. Absolutely. This is a co-op that did not have a happy beginning. Yeah, and his his itemization yeah. is very good too. You know, going for that Lincolns to give him that increased survivability, and now going, he's got a Shiva's finished up in a second too, which is very strong versus the side of VP. That bonus armor and the attack speed reduction is very good versus these two physical cores. They really the VP is desperately in need of this little blink dagger. Very, yeah, he's very close to having it, but Madara's actually coming hunt him for him. And Madara now, Madara actually has a BKB already, yeah. Yep, I'm not sure if you'd mentioned that one. Yeah, 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 only just picked it up. Okay. Only just got it. So that's very big for versus the Sinking and versus the Requiem. Yeah, just, yeah, those the two items we're talking about. Just having the BKB before the Sinking has to blink. Yep. And you know you're having a good game. Even Four Staff finished up on MNT now too. So versus yeah. the Clockwork, they're already starting to get the preventative measures. Let's see what VP can do to slow this. It's, it is, yeah, all going to be down to what Lil can can make happen with the epicenter plays. Yeah. Smoke's going to be picked up by MNT. Mouse, very much in a position where they are ready to go and hunt for fights. As we've seen so far with the Sind Axe, the MNT Shaker. Great ways to kick things off. And there's the blink. Back to base, Lil goes. They will have this. We'll see if it's, uh, if it's much use to just being able to catch Mouse off guard. I mean, they've got to make it big with this blink. Yeah. Like they're they're losing quite hard now. It's already nine thousand going toward the way of Mao's and the heavy map control going in Mao's favor. And I, li I like this build as well from um, oh, from oh. no one. You know, going straight S and Y and then into the into the full out Satanic jump forward there from Lil. But there's the Echo Slam in response. MNT gets Lil low. The Sonic Wave not going to be enough to bring Lil down. And now the turnaround. No one comes in with the raises. Takes down a second. Find Spartan as well. So instant turnaround there, and here comes the epicenter, revved up on the sidelines, jumps in with a two-man burrow strike. Thug held in position by the follow-up stun after they proc the Lincolns. And that is exactly what VP needed. The voodoo restoration there, actually saving Ramses entirely because of that. So that small little health ticks that yeah. do add up during the fights when they are engaged. And just the positioning of the engagement too. It was an aggressive... Uh, Echo Slam trying to go in and bring down Lil, but Lil survives. He's able to shrine up and then re-engage with the epicenter. Yeah, just look at this again. So that, that first swap there yeah. to start things off. And, you know, they get so close to bringing him down. But as you're right, that AoE regen helping him out massively. Yeah, look at this. One. The Voodoo Restoration is massive here. Yeah. And it allows Lil to, to get in a position with that shrine where he's ready to go back in. And he gets the perfect line here, straight across. The fact that he procs the Lincolns, then allowing his team to get the follow-through stun onto Thug. Yep. Yeah, that, that's the kind of team fight execution VP are going to have to pull out against Mouse because Mouse are playing very good this game. I mean, that's, yeah, they, they, need they definitely to have are. That, ti that tightness. It's like when, you know, the a little bit of a bot initiation, though, by Sin, and that's what kind of causes that all to happen. Okay. And also the, the positioning that VP was, you know, they had the high ground advantage slightly with the position of no one Shadowfiend. 
So it was just a great place for VP to take the fight. It's a 6,000 yeah. swing going their it's, way at the end of the day. And, and this SF, you know, what, 27 minutes and have, uh, no one having that Satanic is... I mean, he's walking around with nearly 3k HP. Oh, he's got uh, it finished already. He's got it finished. Wow, and yeah. he's not going, building toward that butterfly too. Like, I, it, they've got the, obviously the disable of the Shaker and the Axe, but I feel like you, you're very unlikely as Mouse Sports to kill him during the disable. You know, he's always going to get the chance to pop that Satanic and hit back. I don't see a situation where he just gets locked down for, for the whole duration of, of, of 3,000 HP. Yeah, and I mean, he's picking up the Talisman of Evasion as well now yeah. too, which is very good versus the Clinks. He's going to have, a, his, his survivability is actually it's through the massively roof. increased. And if you just look at the net worth chart, and not only just the network chart, and the experience chart is the bigger one. Look at that swing. 10,000 experience swing going into there VP go. now. There so they go. are all getting these levels. And Shadow Fiend now hitting that level 20 peak, you get the plus two damage per soul, which is very relevant for his damage increase, especially when you have a Vengeful Spirit on your team with the Vengeance Aura, and they have Solar Crest and all this with Munus Armor, etc. Yeah. They, they need that true strike. They need the Bloodthorn on the Clinks. I think he is building it, isn't he, Madara? Yeah, he should be. Yeah. But uh, still quite a way away from it. I need the crystal less than 600 gold into it. Yeah, so, Solar Crest plus the Talisman yeah. of Evasion on the Shadow Fiend. You're they not killing a, him. Well, yeah, they, that's going to be almost impossible the, unless the, they fully lock I, him down. I, unless he stands in a bazillion creeps and takes an Echo, it's, they can't kill that Essa. VP, though, playing a lot more like a five-man unit, which is to be expected. You know, Mouse is playing with the Wisp lineup, so they're going to be a little bit split up so they can get those kind of relocate plays. And Queen of Pain always going to be pushing the side lanes, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Roche is going to be spawning quite soon, and that's where VP might actually just try to go for that one. Looking for a solo pickup on Salt. Oh, they, yeah, the swap back here onto Madara. He's actually oh, trapped he's in trapped. the cogs, and he, he's in a lot of trouble. He gets taken down. Sinner now jumps in, but he's already lost his clinks, and Sinner just ends oh up giving his life God. away as well. And this game, it is, it is taking a turn back in favor of VP quite strongly. And Mouse's lineup falling apart a little bit. Madara just thinking that it's a solo Witch Doctor that yeah. he can just pick off there, but it is not at all. And that getting trapped within the cogs. You see, he took, he took a big chunk of damage from those right clicks with the, next to the Venge. All that minus armor being applied to him and just the damage coming out from the Shadow Fiend now at this point with his itemization and levels. I like Solo's build as well, you know, the, the double bracer. Yeah, so was, I mean, you, you kind of have to, don't you, against this Clinks when you're as poor as he is. Yeah, Just yeah. get something that, that allows the time to react. He even takes the 200 health talent over the experience oh. game. Echo Slam in top. He's trying to go for a pickoff onto Lil here. Can he get it? Lil seems to be just fine. He can not. And Ramses actually gets a very quick pickoff onto Spartan. Swap into stun into Solar Crest and just killed him very quickly. Uh, this is starting to look worrying for Mouse Sports. They are getting it The fact separated. that they lost the last two fights as, as hard as they have, and uh, they have lost that entirety of that, that lead that they've, they, they did manage to get as well. I mean, they've still got about 1K, but that is not nearing the same range as it was just a, a few moments ago. Yeah, Pasha also finished up the Midas right after that, so the clockwork will be starting to scale a bit more. And Roche is up, and VP's lineup kills Roche very quick. super fast. And not, they yeah. have the double, they have the medallion and the solar crest plus the aura. So look at this. Once ramp, no one starts hitting it, it dies. And they know super that quick. there's no echo slam. Yep. Yeah. Shot off the mark, but yeah, Roche is dead. Let's go. 350 damage per hit on no one, or 400 damage per hit with the double things. And this is the second Roche, so the cheese is grabbed up by Lil. And I believe that is actually Butterfly finished up from no one. But he's got it complete. Yeah, and oh, MKBs man. and Bloodthorn is very far off the mark. Oh, how long to Bloodthorn do you reckon? He's yes. very far from it. Split push though. Thug oh. almost claiming the tier one, tier three bottom. Oh, he's gonna get swapped oh, Midar in. Oh, Midar top. Oh no. He's dead. Is he? Can he get out of here with the BKP? He's got no TP. That's a dead clink. He's got no TP, Ben. Got no TP. Ben. <laughs> Solo oh. though, Thug blowing the Sonic Wave on him, able to clean it up, but that's just a that's just a lowly witch doctor, but he does claim the tier three as well. Okay. Now Venge also need, hitting they, level twenty. They need to keep that clinks alive. Yeah. If Madara keeps down like this at the start, I mean he's kind of been out and in his own. It feels like they need to just move around as a team. And that's when the mouse were doing the best, you know, when they were going around as a five man setting up with Cinder in an MNT. But now that they're going for this sort of split push play, it doesn't seem to be paying off. Yeah, but v VP also, you know, when they were going for that kind of like five-man play, the Sand King did not have the Blink Dagger. But with the Sand King having the Blink Dagger, the VP team fight becomes a lot stronger. And I think Mouse is also recognizing that. Now, you know, Ramses hits level 20, plus 65 damage talent. He's also got BKB finished. Yeah. The, damage com the damage potential actually coming out from VP from the physical is enormous. I mean, and as, as you mentioned, but the only physical that they have on Mouse is that Clinks. And he's just died twice yeah. back to back definitely very problematic and yeah like we said no one 
with Butterfly finished up. They get the hook shot onto MNT. Yeah, it okay. will get relocated out. Spartan will save in mid lane, though Thoki's been eyed up by Lil, and Lil knows that there's mass wraparound coming in to set this up. Ramsey swaps himself in range for the magic missile, and Thugs are gone. Yule Scepter picked up by Lil there to break the Lincoln Sphere before this, the Burrow Strike. Yeah, Perfect itemization. Yep. I don't know, Mouse have just started. They, they need to do something about this. They, they can't afford to keep making these mistakes and getting caught out as they have been. Yeah, but it's fighting into this Shadow Fiend, you know, with Aegis with Cheese, I mean, this is where VP is just way stronger. It really, yeah, it feels like you, you just look at no one and you say, well, this game's over. I mean, it, it it's honestly... You've it, let him get to this point. Extremely... It's almost impossible, actually, to kill him now at this point. They're actually forcing out a buyback from Thug, and VP doesn't even move at all. Yeah. Cinnamon will get the jump in, but it's only a call on to one here. Jump in, though, from MNT. Does get a good Echo Slam, but instantly in response, no one gets the Requiem off, turns towards MNT, takes him down. Satanic is popped, no one just heals him. Madara, he was trying to hit the, the SF, but he, li he just wasn't doing anything. Nice good call from Sin, though. Grabs two into the Sonic Wave, but the Voodoo Restoration keeping them alive, and Lil comes back in with the Epicenter, but they have lost Ramses as well. Move forward with the raises. No one's still trying to continue to fight, but Mouse, they're doing incredible well on this defense. They'll get a fourth, Ramses, and the rest of them they down. No one. He has no TP. Can they get him? Yeah. Oh He's dead. my goodness. He's dead twice. I can't believe they've done that. That was that I was I can't just, believe it. I mean the buyback. Yeah. Double the, buyback. The Cinder and Cools yeah. jumping in, keeping them in position. Satanic. Hey, watch out boys. Be, be a little careful. He's still very strong, he but is. yeah, he's alone <laughs> versus five heroes. I mean he's <laughs> they're kind of just poking it, and they're like, "You guys go in." There we go. They'll jump back in with the cool and the and the uh, yes, uh, the totem. But, okay, wow. Double buybacks. They did it. Yeah, they were. They didn't respect the they Queen of Pain it. buyback. Yeah. But yeah, beautiful initiations coming out from Sin twice back to back with the B fresh BKB picked up. He wasn't able to get disabled while the blade mail was activated, and he's able to. They bring down the Venge in the first call, so he wasn't able to use the cheese. He wasn't able to use his BKB, and they didn't have the Venge or Vengeance aura during that entire engagement. So, beautiful decision making coming out from Mouse Sports with those buybacks. Oh, that was insane. Yeah, I didn't think that they'd actually just continue up there once the buybacks were coming out, but yeah, just not really respecting it a bit. Let's see what they can do though with these buybacks. I mean, as you said, you know, if one of those two gets set on the side again, they are in big, big trouble. So Thug's got to be careful, so is MNT. Boom, there it goes. Yeah, the big thing when you're playing with like this Venge Shadow Fiend type of lineup is you can't have the Venge and the Shadow Fiend standing next to each other. No. So they have to definitely watch their positioning on the Whoa. side of VP. And we have Sin, jumps in, the BKB is out on time though from Ramsey. So not a huge amount of damage falling through other than Madara, who's being able to pummel into this. Looks like the cheese was swallowed here. Ramsey's does get healed back up. Nice little save there as they bring, they bring the, the Madara out just in time. The, the Maledict still on him though. Lil jumps forward with the epicenter. Can he find the power strike? No, he doesn't quite get it. And now Lil, he's gonna pay with his life potentially. Thug blows the Sonic Wave, takes down the SK, and top lane's been opened up. They're getting some damage in onto the tower. Madara still trying to man up. Finally, Paul falls down though. He's out for 80 seconds. Sin gets the call. It's not enough though. They've lost the axe as well here. MNT getting surrounded. Pasha with the cogs control. But oh, he gets out. How did he blink out of that? Oh, he gets rocketed though. <laughs> oh, he did. Thanks for that. What, did you see that? He blinked out because he did the back back trick with the blink dagger. Because he was in the cogs and getting battery assaulted, but he put the blink dagger in his backpack, I believe, and took it out and was spamming it. That's Not, legit. Was it? I think at least. Yeah, it looked like that, but I'm, I'm with you, though. It literally looked like he definitely took some damage. I wonder if we can... Uh, yeah, that we'll have to check that out, but either I was way. Looking, yeah, I was looking bottom. I was just seeing them get the Raxes. Yeah, and I guess it, at the end of the day, it didn't matter for him because he dies. But as you said, yeah, the objective taken. Objective taken. Objective taken. No one really didn't want to buy back there. Like, he had buy back that whole time, but he's like, I do not want to buy back no matter what happens here. Yeah. And, but that was a very nice relocate coming out from Spartan, you know? Instead of bringing the Clinks back to base, you know, Clinks does end up dying because of it, but he brings him down bottom with Thug, so good split push coming out from Thug. Oh, we're gonna see Are we gonna see again? again? I, I, don't, I mean, it may have just been that he didn't take any damage and he was just cogged. But watch MNT here. So we see Cinderin dying. And then MNT, I think maybe, maybe... No, that battery assault definitely yeah, he hit him. It. The, yeah, and he does it. He, he does the back. it before the, the battery yeah. assault and everything even started going on him. So MNT. I mean, he still dies, but it, it was a neat little play. That is definitely very neat, yeah. So now they know, you know, level 25 on Shadow Fiend, he's got the plus 150 range, and look at Ramsey's positioning this time. This is where he has to be standing. Oh. He can get the swap out if he wants to, but he's actually holding on. He doesn't need to this time around. He's fine at the moment. Sin will pop the BKB, but they just turn, and the physical damage is enough. Cinder is gone. Hookshot 4 from Pasha is only onto the creep. Sin will buy back for this one. 
Wanting to do everything here to this try and hold on to the middle racks. Be a little bit careful. Still need to watch their positioning a lot. Respect the buybacks. Yep. Last time it turned around and looked very good for Mouse. Can they do anything big off this? No one. Still standing on the front line. He is this big front line hero that can definitely afford to do this. He's onto the rack. Oh, jump forward here. No one actually forced out that. I wonder who, who forced him out of that potential call. Cool. Oh, beautifully. Did it himself. And they turn it into MNT. Take down the Shaker, but there are the BKB. Sonic Wave flies through and will burst down the Witch Doctor. Pasha falling out low hit. Thug jumps in onto the back lines. Will be able to take down the clock, but still no one. Look how they just can't hurt him. He's, He's so full powerful, health. yeah. He's just standing there on full HP. It's a dieback from Cinderin, and VP will be able to finish off the middle racks. That was sick, though. You know, he had prevision of the axe, so as yeah. he blinks in, he already hur he hurricane pikes him instantly. That some, timing So was... messes up the axe call, and yeah. he gets distance as well away from him. So good individual play coming out from him, but the overall positioning from VP in that fight is just much better. You know, they recognize the mistake that they made the first time around. It's, uh, not looking to throw it away as they, they did. Earlier on and ended up costing them a racks on the bottom lane, but now that they, they get the racks in return in the middle. A lot of money stacked up again on Ramses, he's up to 3k. And uh, still overall, yeah, no one 20, 25k. Well, what's he going for anyway with this sort of late game gold on the SF? Because he already had pretty much everything that, that he still was needed. Has... He's just stock it, stockpiling it at the moment, yeah. He's he got, has, he's got two stops. items he yeah. can change. So, you sure. know, he can still change the S and Y later yeah. on and the TP, so... I mean, he's already pretty tanky. I mean, like, will he just go Daedalus or something? I was going like, to say Daedalus, yeah. Some sort of damage, surely. I mean, uh, is it better for him to get Bloodthorn in a game like this just in case any evasion comes out? Bloodthorn sounds fine. Yeah. We'll see. I think he's still maybe deciding. Banking up on a lot of gold. Maybe he wants to just save buyback to be a little bit safe, but that doesn't sound like too much like, like yeah. MP right now. They're playing very confident. So there's your blood thorn on Kling. So this is certainly going to make a difference. Okay, so he's gonna. It looks like he's gonna disassemble the SNY into a Manta style to be able to remove that. That's blood thorn. smart. That is smart. And okay, never mind. Buys okay. BKB. <laughs> Buys BKB. Yeah. That's probably the That's best. That's also item. smart. Yes. Yeah. You you, you, got, you do want to be aware of this blood thorn as yeah the evasion has been playing a massive part in keeping no one alive. Yeah, the blood thorn and I mean of course yeah. just being able to not get stunned up, so you can always sure. get the satanic off safely. Madara getting hooked up. Have they got the vision. Yes, they do. do now. Swaps and him back. He is into super the dead. And he is gone. Dara's out. 90 Doesn't seconds. He has no, no buyback, buyback either. Oh, they tried to go for the relocate save as well. Ooh, yeah. He was already gone. See what VP can get done in this uh, 80 seconds. And, uh, you know, down to the buybacks and such. You, you, we can see the net worth. It's just swung right around. 9k lead now for VP. This game has turned back on his head. As uh, Ramses, you know, the, the struggling Venge early on is now ahead of all of those of yeah. mouse sports. So that, that Midas was picked up as a recovery item and it certainly paid off. Yeah. He's back up, second on the board, only behind no one. And when he gets level 25, you know, he's yeah. very close to it. I believe he's going to go for the Vengeance Aura damage, which is going to make yes. no one an absolute yes. monster as well as him because, oh, yeah. you know... Was it plus 20%? Just 20%. Plus 20% on top of it. The spell immunity piercing is actually pretty decent this game too, but I think he'll still just take the damage. Oh, MNT. Did manage to find the Fisher here, and in fact, with the follow-up call, they've got some good lockdown onto Ramsey's. Bring him down low. The Echo Slam comes out, and with the follow-through dunk, they'll be able to take down the Vengeful Spirit. Lil trying to get himself away, but they get him with the passive stun, and again, Sin's there with the double kill. Lands the Pasha second dunk. Goes in there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a bit of a deep commit, and again, Sin jumps forward, gets another call. They've got the control. Pasha to be almost certainly taken down as well, and that was the gem, I believe. It was yeah. the gem, yeah. Drops the gem. That was. Oh, VP. They're playing they're playing so separated. I got, I'm not, that's very interesting. But Mao's also finding the opportunity there. Maybe they didn't expect it because the Clinks was dead. No. So I mean it seemed like VP did have a little bit of a They just sort of know because at the start, you know, Lil was eyeing it up. Yours is up, I believe, the shaker and yeah. doesn't commit. Backs off. Then Ramsey's turns up and they're like and then he's starting to run away. And MNT with that fish is like, we wanna fight. And yeah, Pasha just uh, yeah, coming in after his mates are already dead. Yeah, pa that, the hook from Pasha was the yeah, biggest... That was the questionable thing. Yeah, I mean, losing the gem and just giving up a, a more of a free kill just because they it looked like they didn't want to fight at all and he just kind of went in, but... Okay. Yeah, that yeah. was just a positioning error. They didn't. I, I think it just caught them off guard when Klinks was dead. They didn't expect the mouse to actually be all ready for that kind of engagement. But now we reach the 40-minute mark. Roche respawns, third Roche. Not different than the second Roche, but now it's also 40 minutes, so the double runes are out. This is one of the first times we actually get to see it here at Dream League, of course. We do have an Arcane Rune bottom, Regen who spawn top, and they grabbed it up. But yeah, DD runes do spawn a plenty during the double runes, so that's where it becomes... Map control becomes very important. 
Because DD runes at this stage in the game can just instant just win your fights. Yeah, it's like, yeah. TD rune on Madara or uh, on no one respectively is yeah. GG. Madara cleans up a shrine very, very quickly. 125 gold for the team. I'll dig that. Arcane rune is always nice for the clinks. That probably makes his ult 100 percent cooldown, 100 percent uptime. Jeez, those that that those last three kills though, like look at that yeah, swing. Yeah, it's swung back around that graph. It really has. It, Nine thousand gold swing. Ten k mouse to ten k VP to back to zero. Up and, and down. A couple of team fights will do that. I mean, well, yeah, just even just a couple of big kills. Yeah. At this stage of the game, as it's still in a very volatile state, both sides with uh, definitely ways to close it up. Mm -hmm. Level 25 Venge now grabbed up for that 20% Vengeance, Sora. Yeah. So Any other 25s coming around the corner? Mm, I wouldn't think. Maybe. maybe what about Falcons Thug? How's Thug doing? He is oh, he's, the, he's got the 25. He's got the yeah, alive still. Oh, it's, that was Clink's doing too. Yeah, Clink's almost has it too. Yeah. I haven't seen level 25 Clink's in a bit. What's the 25 on Clink's that you go for? Uh, he gets range two? or strafe attack speed. Ooh, I mean, it's only plus 20. I did, yeah, he takes. Oh no, sorry, 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 so that's not twenty. That's a seventy, isn't it? Yeah, two hundred oh, right, bonus GG, attack yeah. speed. That's quite a lot. Now. You definitely get that. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, beautiful. That's good. I mean, one hundred and twenty-five attack range. That's swap pretty, coming pretty out. Cool. They try to do swap hook. They look at the dust on him, but an instant relocate out takes Madara back to safety. Just Bug. to relocate to the side though, keeping him still in a position to fight. Trying to keep the split push. Messes up the blink call there. Not that it matters too much. They just have to wait and reset. The rocket flare was there in time to cancel the blink. Yeah, I like Th Thug's item itemization. Mm -hmm. You know, he goes for the assault. Versus the heavy physical damage that VP has, it's definitely appropriate. He's sitting on 40 armor now, so he's very durable. This game is just very back and forth. That really is. I mean, could it be the game where we see a level 25 Aya? He's level 20. The tw dude, the tether stun. <laughs> the tether stun. Back Will we see old, it return? Back to old Aya. I mean, do you, see, do you definitely take the tether stun? 150 spirits damage. Uh, tether stun is incredible. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, mid lane, oh, swap that Madara. Goodbye, but he has the Aegis. Ready for round two, jump forth and sin. Oh, but he calls nothing. He doesn't manage to get the call that they needed, and now Madara's just got a BKB and a hope for the best as he runs away. Thug split pushing, but is he going to get caught here? The double stuns. Let's see. Oh, he pops the cheese, Jeez. gets the blink off just in time. Relocate mid, but they bring in Madara. Yeah, Mad <laughs> but, but they, yeah he doesn't he have BKB. Doesn't have BKB. Oh, why are you relocating him back in? Oh no! And now Sin goes in too, and Sin's gonna oh, pay with his life. Oh, he's gone as well. Oh no! I, oh, and now with the hook shot. They forced the glyph Doug. though. <laughs> Doug may be fine. He's got a BKB. He can escape. And yet, yeah, I guess yeah, glyph force. But yeah, relocating a, a well, sub 25% HP clinks with no BKB uh, right behind a tier three. That was a. I mean, that was a Spartan play. You know, he loves to go for the big ball plays, but I don't think his uh, teammates appreciate that. Yeah, Dara's another swing. Like, what are you doing, my mama? Yeah. And look at this graph is just... Yeah. I mean, just says everything about this game. Even the experience graph, too. Look at that. Just back and forth all over the place. I think, I think maybe Spartan forgot that they just lost the Aegis on the Clinks a second yeah. ago. It could have been that. Because that could have worked if he had the Aegis, but he, he, he did not. He did not. It was already gone. Mm -hmm. Over-aggressive. Well, they will have another chance here, of course. They've still got the BKB, uh, so the buyback's ready. Yeah, Thug is just continuing the split push, though. <laughs> he set up the top lane, keeping it going. No one now stopping it. Does no one have boots to travel finished up? He does, so he can join his team for the push. Ramsey's now pushing down that bottom lane. Uh, still, they've got the Echo Sam and the Sonic Wave. Good to go. Uh, looks like Sin won't be forced to expend his buyback. They're In fact, top lane. No one top. Yeah, they'll force the BKB out. No one turns towards MNC. He's they joining do his need, team. They, yeah, they need to head that, back down here. So do Mouse Sports. They need to come back as they're losing the Tier 3. There's no BKB on no one, though. Sin, back up, ready to look for a position to get a good angle to get that initiation, but the Rax are already gone. They clean up a second set. They don't have the Tier 2 top, though. They can't go for the Mega Creep, so they're just going to have to go for Tier 4s here. But at the same time, now the base race is coming out. Oh, Mouse they're doing a base it, race. But it's backdoor protection right now. Oh. But the backdoor protection wears off, and oh, I, Mouse is actually going for it. Are they going to be able to beat this push for VP? I mean, MNT and the boys need to do some big plays. Sin tries to come in with the call. They are on to the Ancient. They're on the Ancient already. They're doing it's, it. It's dying. You've got a TP back, VP. Mouse Sports bringing the Ancient down to half health. Posh is there. In, the two-man hook shot stuns him. MNT Mouse with the Echo Mouse is going to get it. Mouse I think they're going to do it. Yeah, they put the oh. BKBs and Mouse. Oh. The base rate successful. Oh, VP is silent for a moment before calling GG. I don't Not. think that they expected that kind of... Yeah, man. What a play.
It worked out. I mean, well, the, the back door was there initially, but they, they the did have a sweep wave close, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, top, top creep wave came in. Yeah, the, as soon as the back door protection was down. Easy base for Mouse Sports. I believe that's a perfect ending for this type of game. It was just absolutely back and forth all over the place. And just good decision making coming out from Mouse Sports. No one wanting to bot Spottom when his BKB was popped because he wanted to join his teammates, and then Spartan realizes that and just relocates <gasps> the Clinks, and Clinks with the straight bonus damage plus the Desolator and AC. Oh my goodness, oh, that nice. just happened. Well, what a finish. What, what a classic Mouse Sports finish as well. Absolutely wonderful. Sin standing in, they get the victory with him. It's got to feel good. Sin, you know, a little bit rusty, but still made some good plays with the calls. Yep. You know? That was... Missed some calls, got some calls, you know. He's been practicing a bit with calling Bulldog, you know. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That was something, though. Yeah. That was something. But there we have it. That was only game one, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have another game in between these two. We'll see if Mouse and Mouse could do it again against Virtus Pro of all teams. One of the hottest teams we've got here.